Oh, that rod just got hammered. Oh, oh. That thing is peeling, drag. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is day two of the Spring King Pompano Tournament. Today was supposed to be a complete washout. Nobody thought we were gonna be able to fish today, but storms ended up blowing a little north. It's still blowing probably 15 to 20 right now. We got gusts up to 25 and 30, so it's a bit sporty out there, but we're gonna give it a shot anyways. We are on the way out here to the jetties. Looks like Mad Dog Fishing is out here. We'll stop and say what's up to him, but we're gonna see if we can get on some big pompano. A couple decent ones yesterday. We need to get something over three pounds to get us into placing in this tournament. So we're gonna see what we can do. Usually a bunch of sand fleas right around these jetties. So that's the goal, try to see if I can get a bunch of them. I did pick up some fresh dead shrimp on the way here. So got a few different bait options, but we're gonna get out there, get set up. So we can get on. All right, we're gonna come over here by the jetties. See if I can get a good scoop of sand fleas. This is usually a great spot for them. Heck yeah. Look at that scoop right there. Not bad at all. Alright, end up finding some decent sand fleas here. We're gonna get these tied on on the yellow and white salty's rig put this big one down on the bottom a little smaller one up top y'all can see that it, water out there is rough it's supposed to have a bad storm today ended up not being too bad over this way it kind of blew north of us so here we are we use a green fish gun this seemed to work out good for us lately. I like to just cut it once in a rectangle. Cut it like that in a little triangle. Put a little piece on here. Give it a little extra scent. See if we can find a big boy today get something to place us in that tournament that is the goal anyways toss it in that washing machine hope for the best all right i'm gonna get one more rod set up i got the whiting my whiting rod out here I forgot we had a uh, I forgot we had a whiting category. So I got some fresh dead shrimp. We're gonna throw up there on the whiting rig. See if I can't find me a big whiting out here. So these whiting rigs, I just use a little hook, a little bead on there. A little piece of fresh dead shrimp. There's a decent little pocket right there to the side of the jetty, so I'm just gonna toss this right in that. See if we got something hanging out over there. Usually if there's whiting, you know pretty quick. And this light rod will go insane. All right, let's wait it out, see if we can get on some fish. Actually got a fish on this time. Let's see if it'll stay down there. Dang, it feels like it popped off again. I'm just not having luck on this rod today. Oh no, he's still there. He's still there. Nice whiting. I don't think it's gonna win me the biggest whiting in the tournament, but. Not bad for some dinner.
I think it'll quite give me the biggest whiting. <laughs> Another whiting on here on the whiting rod. Feels like a good one here too. Be nice to give me one big enough I can lay in for the tournament. Those other whiting I got were definitely too small for that. Let's see what we got here. Got a little bit of weight to them, nothing crazy, but. All right. We will take it. I'm gonna take this one home for some more. Oh, that rod just got hammered. Oh, oh. That thing is peeling drag. That might be a pump no on the whiting rig there. That is a fish. Come on, baby. If that's a whiting, it's definitely a good one. I gotta take it easy though, I got 10 pound test on here, so. Try not to horse it up here. Take my time with it. Definitely don't want to lose this fish. It ain't fighting like a pompano. It may be a whiting. If it is, it's definitely a good one though. A little bit of head shakes. Haven't been able to see it yet. Oh, it's a little drum or something. I don't know if it's a uh, small drum or a sheep says. One of the two. Uh, get up here. Try not to break them off. Little puppy drum. Let's see if this wave will wash them up here for me. Heck yeah. I'm gonna take that. Little puppy drone there. Those things are delicious in this size. Sweet. I've not caught one this size in a while. Get a lot of those big ones. All right. All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the house. Just got back with that black drum. First time I've caught a nice puppy drum like that in a while. So we're gonna do a little bit of a catch and cook for y'all. First, we're gonna show you how to clean it. Then we're gonna do a little blackened fish for you. Show you how you like to cook those puppy drums. So let's go ahead and jump right into cleaning that fish. All right, with any fish that's got the scales like this, like a drum or the snappers or anything like that, I like to use two different knives to fillet this fish. So I'm gonna start off with this Dexter serrated knife. That's gonna really help start those cuts and get through those scales. And then I'm gonna jump on over to that Bubba blade and, and finish that fillet off. So we're going to start right up by, here by the head, get right through those scales. And even then it still collects on that knife, no big deal, you can just wipe those off. I'm sure this makes everybody's wife happy when you are cleaning fish in the kitchen. My wife is at work tonight. but. She's used to it by now. Once you make that first cut, then I like to jump on over to the, the back here. Make that first little incision. I'm gonna try to ride that rib cage and that backbone. Those scales are super tough though, so that's where that serrated knife really helps. Hope y'all can see that on camera, but All right, now that I got those first incisions, this one made right here and then down the spine, I'll go ahead and get that bubble blade. You can usually follow that backbone pretty good down through there. All right, try to keep that pressure down. Start pulling that meat back. You know, there's Black drum get a bad rep for having a lot of worms and stuff like that, but when they are small like this, they are absolutely delicious. 
You do have a giant rib cage. You gotta be careful for. Try to go over top of that here. There's filet number one. I go ahead and do the same thing on the other side here. I'll flip them over. I go back to this Dexter serrated knife. All right. It's the last fillet there. Next, you want to just hold on to that skin there. You can go ahead and cut that meat right off of that skin. I'll do the same thing with this first piece. Flay that meat right off of there. And just like that, we got a nice fillet. So they do have some bones in there. You can usually fill them right in there, so cut those pin bones out of there. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut all the way down, get that bloodline out. The bloodline's not bad on these fish, but just to make it a better looking flay, I'm gonna cut that whole bloodline out. That gets rid of all those bones as well, so you're left with a beautiful looking piece of fish. We're gonna blacken this up, get it in the skillet. I'll catch y'all back here in just a second. All right, got the filet that I'm gonna cook up tonight. I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna do a little bit of this Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning. I'm just gonna do a light sprinkle on top. Super light. And then, of course, we gotta have the Tony Saturies. That's gonna be the main seasoning on this fish. A little bit on top of there. Flip it over. Again, a little bit of that ranch seasoning. Just trying something different. Now, as much as we eat fish down here, you gotta try something new every now and then, so. Try it out, see how it goes, see if I even notice a difference. We got the butter heating up over there. Got the butter getting nice and hot, pan's looking good. We're gonna go ahead and grab this piece of fish, toss it right in there in the butter. Oh yeah. It's gonna be some good stuff right there, guys. If y'all have not eaten any of the puppy drum, man, it is absolutely delicious. Y'all will see that here shortly. It's been a while since I've caught one of the puppy drum. Uh, I mean, honestly, probably a year and a half or so, so I've not eaten this fish in quite a while. Uh, last time I had it, I, it was really one of the best tasting fish that I've had um, off the beach, so pretty excited to try this one again. Like I said, it's been a little while, so switching it up. I know y'all haven't seen a catch and cook in a minute, so we're gonna try something different. If you do enjoy these catch and cooks, make sure you give it a big thumbs up lets me know what y'all like to watch so I'd appreciate if y'all do that but we're gonna let this cook here for a minute I'll catch y'all back when we flip it over all right that fillet is starting to look pretty good there we're just gonna toss it around a little bit in that butter go ahead and give it a flip oh yeah that's looking good nice and blackened right there this is gonna be absolutely delicious. All right, our fish is just about ready. Those of you that have cooked some black drum, comment down below. Let me know how you did it. Let me know what you thought about it. If you've kept any of the bigger ones, did you have a bigger one that tasted good or did all those have worms? Interested to see. Um, I don't really see a whole lot of people keeping black drum. You know, obviously this one was pretty small. It was like just over three pounds. Uh, but once I get big, I personally have never had one, but 
They said they get worms, they get rubbery, all that stuff. So if you have any experience with that, drop a comment down below. Let me know. I'd be interested to see what you think about it. We're about to pull this one out the pan, get it on the plate, and see how it turned out. Y'all check that out. Beautiful blackening right there. This is going to be absolutely delicious. This was a little bit last minute, so I did not make any sides and all that. We're just going to try the fish by itself. But I think it's going to be pretty good anyways. Alright guys, so that is it. That is the black drum, AKA puppy drum, catch and cook. Just did a quick little blackening. Obviously you saw that uh, ranch seasoning I put on there first, a little bit of Tony Saturies. You can never go wrong with the Tonys on there. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. I did put a little bit of tartar sauce on there. Take our first little bite. That is exactly like I remember. Nobody gives us fish credit. Honestly, this is one of the best tasting fish that I've eaten caught off the surf. Trigger fish is probably right now my favorite fish right now, but uh, these puppy drum, I'm for real, they, they are freaking delicious. Y'all see that bite right there? Mmm. If you ever catch one, make sure they still got those stripes on there. Make sure they're smaller. And they are incredible. I'll tell you what, this would make a dang good taco. Or sandwich or anything. Again, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the catch and cook. I'm going to go ahead and finish eating that fish. But if y'all did enjoy this video... I'd appreciate it if y'all give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. Today did not necessarily go as planned. Obviously, we are fishing the Pompano Tournament. And I did not catch any Pompano this morning. However, we caught some decent whiting. We did get that nice puppy drum, which was definitely a surprise. Did not expect that. Been quite some time since I caught one. So, always good to switch it up and see different species out there on the beach. So, even though we didn't get the targeted species, it was still a great day out, out on the surf. So, so make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. Ding that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Appreciate y'all watching this. And until next time, y'all take care.